Hello, this is Crystal, and I'm here with a 99 cent store haul. I did not think I was going to be going, but I'm telling you, ever since I got on Instagram, it's been fueling my 99 cent addiction. Um, I was, I'm not feeling well. I'm in my, I am in my pajamas. Look at bleach stained pajamas and uh, Hello Kitty flip flops, and I ran off to the 99 cent store like a crazy woman. Um, I did see these Dole Fruit and Spice Chili Lime Mango Chunks, and it says, Live well, all natural fruit, excellent source of vitamin A and C, no artificial flavors, non-GMO. Um, this reminds me of Mango Nadas, and it's Chili Lime Mango Chunks. And it just sounded so good. I love Mango Nadas, and I'm hoping that it tastes like mangoes with tamine. So I did get four packages. I wanted to get more, but I decided, you know what, let's see if I even like it before I go crazy. And the expiration date is um, February 10th, 2018. I am going to put three in my freezer. Now, it is so nice to have room in the freezer again. And then I'm going to put save that other one for tonight's dessert. Okay. Now this is new. This is Keebler Simply Made, and this is their version of um, a simply made chocolate chip cookie, which is supposed to be more, which is supposed to be healthier than their regular um, brand. So I picked it up because my husband is on a low fat diet, and it said made with simple ingredients: butter, wheat flour, eggs, sugar, and chocolate chip. Uh, Keebler is a great brand. They we're just stocking these, and I was glad to be there. This is 10 ounces, and the expiration date on this is February of 2018, so that was awesome. Um, I did post this on Instagram yesterday. These are sea salt and lime flavor with other natural flavors. This is the 6.06 I'm sorry, 6.06 .06 ounces. So this is the big bag of the Quaker. It's gluten-free, and this is the rice crisps, rice crisps in sea salt and lime. And this is for me. My husband is not into rice crisps. And it says 14 grams of whole grains per serving. So that's awesome. And I thought these would be really nice to save for like Christmas Day because Christmas Day we're just going to stay home and kind of um, eat a lot and just relax and enjoy ourselves. Uh, we're going to be celebrating Christmas Eve with my husband's family on the 24th. Um, they were just stocking these and this is New Hostess Bakery Petite Decadent Small Batch Treats White Fudge Vanilla Cake Delights. And this is 7.9 ounces. And like I said, I love these resealable bags. Uh, expiration date is December 21st, 2017. Um, I could have picked up a lot of these, but I did show restraint. And then um, this is New Hostess Bakery Decadent Small Batch Treats in Chocolate Chunk Brownie Delights. And these are mini brownies. 8.1 ounces, no artificial flavors or colors, and no high fructose corn syrup. So, oh, I'll have to show my husband that these are uh, no artificial flavors or colors. He will definitely like that. And the expiration date on this is December 20th, 2017 as well. And I have been super lucky in being able to haul Fiber One value packs. Um, this is the 10 pack of um, Fiber One Cheesecake Bars in Strawberry. Daily value, 20% of fiber, 4 grams um, of total fat, and 4 grams of saturated fat per, per bar. And every time I see Fiber One, especially if it's a value pack, I haul it because it is just ridiculously overpriced at the supermarket. And this is January 18th, 2018. Then I was super excited because I have not hauled these or seen these in so long. Um, I used to go hunting for these at Dollar Tree if they didn't have them at the 99 cent store. 
So I did pick up three, and these are the Del Monte Diced Pears, Bartlett Pears in Water, uh, Artificially Sweetened, No Sugar Added. Huh. That's interesting. Okay. 25% uh, fewer calories and 65% less sugar than diced pears. So um, each one is 70 calories. And you know what? I didn't even check the expiration date when I picked these up. So let's see what it is. And of course, let's see. Please don't be expired. Okay, great. Awesome expiration date of November... Yes, November 26th, 2018. Um, and they were pretty much fully stocked on these, but I only picked up three because I have such little room right now to be um, storing stuff. And the Haters Gonna Hate cup is out because we are getting some hate on our channel, but that's okay because I just block those people. So we're not going to worry about them. And I'm drinking Golden Peak Iced Tea from the 99 cent store. And I don't know where you're at, but here in Orange County, it's like 87 degrees. Um, okay, Quaker Breakfast Squares. Soft baked bars, baked apple cinnamon with other natural flavors. And um, this is my husband's favorite. I try and keep us stocked on breakfast bars because he leaves early in the morning and this is easy for him to take on the go. And he can just throw this in the microwave for 10 seconds. It'll be nice and warm. Okay, um, let's see. And again, they were, for some reason, um, at new I went there about 40 minutes ago and they were just fully stocking everything, which was awesome for me. Expiration date is January 19th, 2018. So that's a great expiration date right there. Um, I did pick up these Planters Cocoa Peanuts. I am hoping that they're good. Six ounces and expiration date is January 25th, 2018. I thought that would be a nice um, treat. And then I picked up this Immaculate Honestly Delicious Yellow Cake Mix. No bleached flour, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, no hydrogenated oils. And this is 21 ounces, a pound and five ounces. I picked this up because the expiration date is March 1st, 2018. So if I don't have time to make it during the holidays, that gives me about three months to make some type of recipe that is that needs yellow cake with it. Now I know everyone has been hauling these, I've seen these all over Instagram, and this is the 28 trick-or-treat sized patches. These are 60 calories each with 7 grams of sugar, and it has vitamin C, which is awesome. It says excellent source of vitamin C, and this is no colors from artificial sources or no artificial flavors by Mott. Mott's Medley's Assorted Fruits. And you can't go wrong with 28 pouches. Again, I do not care about the whole Halloween theme. Uh, it has an excellent expiration date of August 1st, 2018. I probably should have picked up more, but um, I did show you what my freezer and fridge look like. And I, t I also showed you the top of my fridge. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going to put this haul, but, uh, yeah, this is a great deal. Then they had Chips Ahoy, and these are the thins. My husband loves cinnamon sugar, so I picked these up. And the expiration date on this is January 22nd, 2018. And like I said, um, whatever we're not going to eat, we go to a lot of potlucks, and um, I can always take stuff there. So I just picked up one box of these because I have so much stuff. And they also had the Chips Ahoy Thins in oatmeal. And oh, okay, both of these are also seven ounces. Expiration date on this is January 5th, 2018. I absolutely love Annie's Organic, and they had the Organic 
uh, cheddar cheesy puffs, and this is the big bag. This is four ounces, made with real cheese. No artificial flavors or synthetic preservatives. Organic cheese without antibiotics and certified. Let me see what this says. It says certified ingredients are grown without persistent pesticides. And sorry that my camera is not focusing. Okay, I'm trying to see if I am missing anything. This is not a big haul, but it's a pretty good one because everything is name brand. And um, I am buying a lot of sweets because my husband is going to be off for three weeks. And um, I'm just trying to get some goodies because we do plan to take day trips and I'm trying to find stuff that is easy to throw in a bag and, um, you know, I don't think, well, this is my opinion. <laughs> I don't like to buy stuff, you know, at the convenience stores when we have so much stuff at home. So I, I love stuff that has resealable bags like those Hostess and also, I mean, I have my own sandwich bags that I can throw stuff into and that's why I'm stocking up on so many snacks because we really do want to do stuff with Ollie and, um, you know, just like fun day trips, family stuff. Okay, if you're following me on Instagram, you'll know that I did post... This Boom Chicka Pop Dill Pickle Flavored Popcorn. And today I saw it again at the 99 cent store. And then what really got me was 50 calories per cup. Because I am always watching um, calories and I'm always on a diet. So I thought, you know what? Uh, my husband is not going to like dill pickle. But um, I... I don't know. It just sounds like a fun flavor to try, and 50 calories per cup is definitely right up my aisle. We all know that Boom Chicka Pop is a great brand. They sell it at Costco, and it is healthy. So the expiration date on this is um, January 8th, 2018. So... Uh, like I said, um, not a huge haul, but I'm definitely glad I got out because I was not planning on going to the 99 cent store um, since I had hauled yesterday. But that Instagram, I don't know, it's a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise, but it makes me want to run out and get stuff. Um, I actually had a real cool, I had a really cool cashier and I actually got this for free and this is by Newport, three shower caps and um, I don't like to get my hair wet because I straighten it a lot and if I get it wet I have to re-straighten it so I run out of shower caps and three for 99 cents uh, is a really good deal. Um, and then I wanted to show you this really quick. My husband did spray paint the pine cones that we found in Big Bear, and this is how they came out. And I think they came out really nice. So we we did it our own DIY, and um, if you watched my Walmart vlog, um, we bought the gold spray paint, and I'm glad it didn't come out like super shimmery gold. It's more matte. I mean, I would have liked it to be... I wanted to buy a matte gold, but I'm definitely happy with the results. And as you can see, I've incorporated it into my table decor. And this one is actually, I brought from the family room because this one's a nice big one and has a great shape. And I want you guys to see what we did. Okay, so I want to thank everyone um, for understanding why <laughs> I'm not telling people where I'm at location-wise um, on Facebook. Um, I appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. And um, this, I mean, our channel is, is awesome. Um, I really enjoy conversing with everyone. I'm having a lot of fun with the card exchange. Um, I mailed out a whole bunch of cards. Um, please let me know when you see them because I want to make sure that, you know, I didn't write the wrong address. 
and um, I've been keeping a list of who I have sent cards out to, and I sent a big batch out um, Thursday. Thursday and Friday, so um, yes, you should be receiving them today and tomorrow. Like I said, please let me know when you get them so that I know they arrived. And let's see, what else did I want to talk to you guys about? Um, okay, the winner of the Christmas extravaganza is going to be announced on December 15th, and it will be mailed out on the 16th. So, I just want to remind everyone of that. And like I said, if you want to be part of the Christmas card exchange, just leave your email in the comments. And um, I know I'm late in answering comments, but I am going to get to them. And, oh, um, in case you did not see my quick share at the 99 cent store, they do have Disney blankets. They have Star Wars and they have Frozen. And I did see one person on Instagram found Minnie Mouse. And I was looking for the Minnie Mouse, but of course it wasn't there. So I opted not to buy a Disney blanket. But it's a great gift for $1.99. Okay, you guys, I will see you next time. As always, have a great day or a great evening, and thank you so much.